Hello, Juno EMR customers. My name is Jordan Visco. I'm one of the founders of Juno EMR, and today I'm going to do a quick video for you on the launch of our telehealth platform, which is tightly integrated uh, between Juno EMR and our My Health Access patient portal. Um, so if you've been following our newsletters and, uh, and are talking to our team for the past uh, maybe six months or so, you've heard that we've been working on a telehealth platform for quite a while, and uh, you might even know that it's in beta testing, and uh, we've been beta testing it for about the past three months or so. And we're excited today to announce that uh, the integrated platform is now being made available for all Juno EMR customers. And that uh, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic that's gripping the world right now, uh, we're making it free for a period so all our customers can service their patients uh, remotely while the need is greatest. Currently, uh, we can guarantee you it'll be free up until July the 1st, so over the next three to four months while the outbreak is at its worst, uh, everyone can keep on seeing their patients uh, however they need, whether it be in office or virtually. Um, so. First thing to note about our uh, telehealth integration is that you do need a connected My Health Access uh, patient portal account. Uh, if you're not familiar with My Health Access, it does online booking, secure messaging, and automated reminders for your Juno EMR, uh, and now telehealth as well. Uh, we made My Health Access free for uh, all of those other features back in October, so hopefully you're already set up, but if not, you will need to get connected. Uh, to get connected, uh, you can just email our support team at support at junoemr.com, and they can help you with that. Uh, it does take a bit of setup to make sure that you have your schedule set up properly in Juno so that My Health Access can read them and show the appropriate schedule times to your patients. So um, again, support at junoemr.com if you're not already set up. If you're already set up, all you have to do is, again, email support at junoemr.com and they will uh, set up the telehealth integration for you. Um, so a couple things to note. Um, once we turn on the telehealth integration, you'll be able to launch telehealth appointments from the new UI schedule, which is what I'm viewing right now. Uh, when, I, when we book a telehealth appointment here in a sec, you'll be able to see you can launch it right from your schedule. And it also works from, if I go back to the old UI, uh, it'll work from the old UI as well, because I know a lot of people are, are still using that uh, older Juno UI. Once we turn it on, um, the telehealth integration, you'll notice that this My Health Access link um, shows up on the top of your old UI schedule. And if you click it, it'll actually just bring you into the My Health Access Clinic account that you're connected to. So it's a, it's a really nice quick link to have there. And that's good to have because um, in order to get My Health Access telehealth working, you need to have a connected patient in My Health Access. Um, and I'll show you how that works here as well if you're not familiar with connecting patients in My Health Access. Um, and then I guess the other thing, once we turn on the telehealth integration that you'll notice is in your My Health Access Clinic account, and I'm already logged into mine here, this new feature will show up, uh, enable telehealth appointments. And if you make that true, um, that's when your patients can book telehealth appointments with your clinic. And if you scroll down, so I'm in My Health Access settings, uh, and then I'm on the e-booking tab for settings. If you scroll down a little bit to where you set up your appointment types, um, there's a new column there that will show up called telehealth and you can turn different appointment types on or off for telehealth. So this test clinic here that I'm dealing with has a whole bunch of regular appointment types that aren't telehealth appointments and then I've set up two different types of appointments that can be telehealth appointments. And in this way when your patients are going and using my health access for online booking they can uh, select the one that they want. So if they want to do a telehealth, they can select true for, or they can uh, select those appointments. And I'll show you how that works um, from a patient's perspective. Um, so in my health access, I'm actually logged in as a patient right now. Um, if I log out, this is what the home screen looks like. Um, in order to get patients connected with your my health access account, you can tell them to come to my health access and then sign up and get connected with your clinic. Um, I'm already signed up and connected with my test patient here. So I'm gonna just log in with Jordan plus test two and password and I will log in. Um, if I wasn't connected with a clinic, what I would need to do is I'd need to go to the uh, My Clinic section 
and I'd have to add a new clinic here. Click the plus button, and then I'd select the clinic that I want to connect with, and I'd click the connect button, and that would um, connect me to that clinic. Uh, once that is done, the clinic, your clinic will get a message, uh, and the message will say a, a patient would like to connect with you. And then once you've received that message, you can go, uh, you can read it here in the messages section, or you can go to the patient section, and then you can go to your unmatched patients, and you can approve these connection requests. And when you click to approve these connection requests, um, you'll have to enter the demographic ID of the patient in your Juno. So in Juno here, you'll have to search for the patient and find their demographic ID, and then you'll have to link the two. And linking those two means that the patient can start booking appointments with you, and it means that they can also now book telehealth appointments with you. So I'm already connected with my um, uh, test clinic here. So I'm going to book an appointment as a patient, and I'm going to select the clinic I want to book with, so world's best test clinic here. And then it's going to ask me which healthcare provider I want to book with, and for this test today, I'm going to choose this doctor here. And then it's going to ask me what kind of appointment I want. So um, it shows me the different appointment types here that I have set up in My Health Access. And you can see two of them have this little video icon, meaning that those are telehealth appointments. Uh, so I'm going to select telehealth appointment as my appointment type. I'm going to click I understand uh, to whatever terms have been put here by your clinic. And then it's going to search for appointments. So it's going to show me the next three available appointments. So I'm going to choose uh, today at 1 p.m. And then I'm going to enter as a patient a reason for my appointment. And click Continue. And then it's going to have a little confirmation page here where it's going to show me the details of the appointment. So Dr. Beckett at 1 p.m. She works at World Best Test Clinic. Would I like to confirm? Yes. and then the, uh, the appointment is booked. So now as a patient, I can view my appointments by clicking view my appointments. And I can see a list of all the appointments that I have set up. And you can see that this one, uh, the current one is the one that's selected, the one that's for today. And if I want to start the telehealth appointment from the patient's perspective, I can click this start your telehealth appointment button. Once a patient does that, they're in the waiting room. And this is where they stay until uh, the physician or uh, other care provider is ready to see them. Uh, if I flip back now into the clinic workflow, you can see that in Juno, if I refresh the screen, I now have a self-booked appointment that has this little telehealth icon on it, and it's booked at 1 o'clock. From the physician's perspective, to launch the telehealth appointment with a patient, all I would need to do is click this telehealth appointment icon and it pops open a page like this. And when I'm ready, I just click the green button here and it will call the patient and start the telehealth session. So you can see there it's loading. There's my face and we'll show you what happens to the patient. So if I flip back to the patient screen now, it says there's an incoming video call. Would you like to accept? And the patient can click accept. Um, it's important to note that this happens on any device that a patient has. So patients can be on a uh, Android device using the Android app, or they can be on an iPhone device using a, the iPhone app. And um, this will also, when you when you click to call them, it'll also send them a push notification uh, to try and help reduce the uh, the chance that a a patient uh, will miss their appointment. So um, that all works as well. So the patient is now going to click accept. And voila, and voila. I, now I now have a, a uh, telehealth session ongoing. ongoing. I'm getting, I'm getting a little, little bit of feedback, feedback so, so I'm going to hang, hang up here. here. There we go. And then uh, the appointment has ended, and I can close that page. And uh, the telehealth session is now complete. Um, so again, it's, it's really easy. Uh, patients can just, once they're connected, once they have a connected My Health Access account, uh, they can just go and book those telehealth type appointments. Now currently, um, if a MOA or a receptionist wanted to book a telehealth appointment for the patient, um, they cannot do that in the EMR. 
um, we need to make sure that a patient has a My Health Access account in order for that to happen. So currently we're only allowing patients to book it because we can then be certain uh, they have My Health Access accounts. Uh, within the next few days, we're going to be also launching a feature where clinics can book these appointments themselves, and it will double check to make sure that the patient has a connected My Health Access account uh, before that happens. Uh, in the coming months, we're going to launch more features. So um, I'd say the next really important thing that we're going to launch is the ability to have uh, ad hoc appointments created. So you're going to be able to click the appointment link, and you're going to be able to send a one-time link to a patient if they don't already have a My Health Access account, uh, where they can launch a one-time telehealth session without having to have a My Health Access account. But currently, a My Health Access account is required. And um, having a My Health Access account being required is, is important um, because it lowers the opportunity for a patient to miss their appointment if they've already got an account and they're already set up and uh, they already have downloaded the app, the chances that they're going to miss the appointment is a lot lower. So that is the system as we have it right now. Uh, we hope that you take full advantage of our new telehealth options. And if you have any questions or uh, when you're ready to get set up, please send us an email at support at junoemr.com. Thanks a lot.